my December daily friends. Ashley Anderson here. Today we are going to be working on days. Let's just have a look. So this is my um, December daily calendar that I created. Allie Edwards in, I think it was the December prep day, she had this little calendar you could print out. I uploaded mine into Canva so I could use it digitally so I could move things around on the calendar. Um, I posted a picture about this on my Instagram, so if you follow me there, you may have already seen it. But what I've done is I've gone through and planned out the pages I knew I wanted to create. Now, I don't have the entire month planned out. Some of these I'm not sure on yet. Um, like day 13, it's just a story of the day. So I'll probably have, you know, in these blank spots are gonna be more of stories of the day type things. But anyways, I was looking here and I have, um, if you're wondering real quick why it says front and back, so family photo, this was the front. So that would be this page here, day one, that was the front. Day two was supposed to be a bucket list, but I wanted to make this a shaker page, so I changed my mind and just put the back as another family photo, and then day two is actually my reason why. So here's day two. I didn't put a number on this. I probably could. I could stamp something on the inside or whatever, but... Um, those are those two pages and I have videos up of both of these so you guys can check those out but what we're working on now is day three and day four so 10 things I'm looking forward to and a wishing for page so 10 things I'm looking forward to this is actually one of the foundation pages that I created so I've already done it I didn't film it this is one of those like you sit down and you watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever you want and you chill and you make a page right so um, let's take this out and I'll show you guys. Maybe. Also, my kiddo is uh, getting his Xbox time and he's in there talking to his friends. So you guys might hear him. He's literally on the other side of this room. Okay, so we have the 10 things I'm grateful for. And so inside of here, I've got 10 little tags. This follow la 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 paper is from Tracy Reed. It's a digital kit that she has. I'll link it down below. But it's a digital kit, and then I just printed out that pattern paper onto cardstock. And then I sat down, and some of these tags are tags that, um, like this was a part of an Allie Edwards kit, and I just made it into a tag. I think it was like um, supposed to be a full like quarter sheet that goes in your album. There's another example of that. Same thing here, I just cut these down. And I'll do some journaling on the back of this one. This one will have journaling on the front. Here's another big tag, it says deck the hall. Some of these might have photos on them. Um, I started to fill out one of them. Let me show you the rest of the tags first. So that one says holly jolly. We have these three little tags here. This one says playing together. So I'll probably do something about me and Levi um, playing games together joy and peace and a little quiet this made me think so I've already done a little journaling here this made me think of actually having the quiet time to sit down in my office in my craft room and work on crafting supplies this one says um well it's got this cute little design on it the back of it's blank probably do some journaling back there and so um a couple more tags over here but my goal with this is just to document 10 things that I'm grateful for, just to express my gratitude for December. And it can be literally anything and everything. Like there, there doesn't have to be uh, big things. It might just be small things. It might be, he just dropped something in his room. You guys probably heard that. It might be that I get a little bit of quiet time. So anything and everything I will be documenting on here. I, uh, I'm not gonna fill this all out at once. This might come as the month goes and we'll see how I end up filling this out. But this right here is just a sheet of vellum and I just laid it on here, cut it down to size for this first pocket, same thing with this pocket, and then I sewed both of those on there together. But my sewing machine that I bought sucks. Um, I don't recommend it at all, I don't even know what it's called. I definitely need to invest in a better sewing machine, uh, but it sucks. So I ended up going back in with my tinier my tiny attacher, which is a stapler. It's a fancy way to say a stapler. Um, mine's from Heidi Swap, and it uses black staples. Well, there's different color staples, but I have black staples in mine. And I just ended up stapling the sides and down here at the bottom just to make sure that the um, stitching didn't come off of there. And then on the back, I have a couple of pieces of tape over 
the ends and the corners of where it's stitched. I mean, you guys can see how terrible that that looks. Like, the sewing machine I have sucks. Anyways, this page is done. My 10 things that I'm grateful for page is, well, not 100% finished because I still need to uh, document the 10 things I'm grateful for, right? But for the most part, it's finished. I might end up adding a few more embellishments, but I'd say it's just going to be journaling. But what I need to work on now is going to be day, is it day four? Yeah, day four, which is a wishing for page. And I got this idea from Allie. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So I think it was her December prep day. Allie offered a PDF of these cute little wishing for tags. So I printed mine out on some cardstock. I cut them out. And then I have one for my son. And he's got his name. He's eight years old. He wants, he's wishing for a million dollars. Good luck with that, right? And he's thankful for mom and dad. Um, I made one for the dog because I thought that was fun. So his name's Cash. I did not sit down and figure out how many months old he is yet. Um, for wishing for, I put that he is wishing for more toys to chew on and a new bed and more treats. And he's thankful for being able to bite Levi and for treats because he, him and my dog, my dog and my child um, love to like wrestle with each other. My husband has one and I have one. So I'm going to take these little tags. We're going to put them on the back of this. And I found this pattern paper in one of the kits I got from Allie Edwards. And I thought that the green like really makes these red pop, but it's also got some stars on it, which my front page, the um, introduction page has stars on it right here. So you guys can see that. So it just kind of goes with the theme. So what I went ahead and did is I measured this onto this paper. So we'll go ahead and cut this out. And then I'm going to use some red line tape to adhere these two together. And I thought red line tape is like a really good strong tape. And I was thinking this would be way better than my regular double sided tape because of the stitching because of the staples. And then I also already have a little bit of single sided tape on there. Um, like I said earlier to make sure that that stitch doesn't come out. So cut these, I'm going to adhere these on and then we'll stick the little wishing for tags on this. All right, like I said, I'm just gonna cut this down to size. I had already used the page with the tags as a guide, so it made it easier whenever I went to cut it. So cut this down, and then when I use the red line tape, I put it on there all down or whatever in sections. I don't feel like I need to cover the entire page or use a ton of it, mainly around the edges and some around where the holes are gonna be punched. So put the red line tape down and then you'll see as I start to peel it off, I peel it off in sections and I just cut some of the red off as I go. Um, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I think that makes it easier and then if you mess up and you don't get it straight or something, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to pull off anyways and sometimes it will tear your page because it is good tape. But it makes it a little bit easier because you don't have the whole entire page stuck down. I didn't get mine perfectly straight, so you'll see here in just a second, I did go in with some scissors and I kind of trimmed the sides up just a little bit. I wasn't off by too much, but it wasn't, wasn't really straight either, but that's okay, that happens. I used the little weeding tool that I got for my Cricut to do this, but if you don't have a weeding tool, I highly recommend adding a pair of tweezers to your craft tools. I use tweezers all the time, they're like, probably one of the things that I use the most in my craft room is tweezers and scissors. So definitely add a good set of, of tweezers into your uh, craft tool collection and they come in handy so, so much. Before I stuck the tags down, I went ahead and used just the standard hole punch to punch the holes up. I lined them up with the holes that were already punched from the front page got the holes punched. This was going to help me align those tags where I wanted them to and make sure I didn't get them over too far. And then to adhere them down, I'm going to be using the Tombow double-sided adhesive tape. It says it's permanent tape and it is if you push anything down. So if the reason why I like it is like if you put something down and you don't like push it down or anything, you can kind of maneuver things a little bit. But as soon as you push something down with this, 
and you have to move something, it will tear up your pages. So just be cautious of that if you've never used it. I love Tombow tape. I've used it for a very long time. But getting these adhered down, and then I decided to uh, put some embellishments over the circles at the top. So I used some little chipboard stars that come in one of the kits I got from Allie Edwards. They have um, adhesive on the back already, so I just peeled it off and then stuck those down over the circles, and I thought that was just a fun little pop. The other thing I need to do to both of these pages, and I still haven't done it yet, is add numbers to them. So I need to add... On the tag page, I need to put a number three. And on this page, I need to put a number four. I'm not for sure how I'm gonna do that for either page yet, but I still need to add the add the numbers for them. And then here's the little chipboard stars that I was adding. And I thought it was just a nice little touch. And I like that they stick up from the page as well. So it's just a little bit, gives it a little bit of a uh, dimension. Also, if you hear some like commotion in the background, my puppy is laying here and he's got a toy and as soon as I started doing the voiceover, he decided it was time to play. <laughs> so you guys might hear him in the background. Okay, day three and four are finished. I am really excited with this page that I sat down and worked on this before today. It's one of those pages that it's not complicated, it's just a little bit time consuming with making all the tags, but definitely worth it. If you want to use this idea, go for it. And then this page here was really, really easy to make, super simple, but it still turned out really, really cute. And I'm glad I stuck those uh, chipboard stars on there. I think it just pulls out all the stars. It's on the backing and on the front page. And then I love these little, little tags that shows what we're wishing for. Um, I initially had said that this one was going to be 10 things I'm looking forward to, and I'm gonna keep it that way. I started saying 10 things I'm grateful for because that's usually what I go to is focusing on gratitude. Not that I'm not gonna have gratitude in here because I will, but I do like the idea of having uh, 10 things I'm looking forward to on this sheet. So that is day three and day four. Make sure you subscribe so you guys can continue to see how we progress along this journey and we'll talk about ornaments and we've got advent calendars coming up and all sorts of fun little things so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video